This is the brief on how the internal structure of a material, you know, whether it's uniform or crystalline, fundamentally changes its electrical behavior. So we're diving into the core physics of dielectric polarization. Basically, how materials respond when you hit them with an external electric field. And this distinction is absolutely key for designing everything from advanced optical lenses to electronic components. First, the big physical difference here is all about directional response. Think of an isotropic material kind of like a smooth bowling ball. It looks the same from every direction, right? So when an electric field comes along, the material's electrical response, its polarization, just goes perfectly parallel to the field. But a non-isotropic medium, like a crystal, well, its internal structure is directional, which means its electrical response is almost always going to be misaligned from that input field. Second, this structural uniformity leads to some really simple math. To describe an isotropic material's response, all we need is one simple number, a scalar constant called the electric susceptibility. It's really just a measure of how easily the material polarizes. And since the response is always parallel, that single number tells you the whole story. Finally, for those non-isotropic directional materials, that simple number just won't cut it. Because the structure can misalign the response away from the field, we need something more powerful, a rank two tensor. Think of it like a complex map or a matrix that holds all the data to account for those tricky directional dependencies. So really, whether a material's response is a simple scale factor or a complex directional map boils down entirely to its internal symmetry.